Hey guys, welcome to another speed test video. Today I've got the Xperia X and the Xperia Z3 Compact and you can see I've got a couple of applications on the home screen including three games. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is launch these applications uh, simultaneously and we'll see which phone performs better. Uh, so the Xperia Z3 Compact was the uh, Sony flagship in 2014. Uh, this phone runs a top-of-the-line Snapdragon 801 CPU, which was the flagship processor in 2003, uh, 2014. And the Xperia X runs a Snapdragon 650 processor, which is a mid-range CPU. Now, the Xperia Z3 Compact comes with 2GB of RAM, while the Xperia X comes with 3GB of RAM. Uh, so, in this video, I'll also show you multitasking and we'll see which phone performs better. And it's worth noting that the Xperia Z3 Compact has a 720p display and this one has a 1080p display. So all in all the uh, GPU of the Xperia Z3 Compact has to work less harder than the AZ GPU of the Xperia X because um, there are less number of pixels to work with on the Xperia Z3 Compact uh, when you compare with the uh, full high definition screen of the Xperia X. So first off we have the startup test and let's see which phone starts up first. Both of these are switched off right now. So let me see if I can get this thing simultaneously. Um, 3, 2, 1, go. So by the way both of these phones are running Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow uh, with Sony's own customization on top of it. So let's see which one starts up first. This one's already showing Xperia logo, the animation on the Xperia Z3 Compact. Right, the Xperia X is ready to go. The Xperia Z3 Compact just follows. Uh, so let me show you the operating system version. So you can see the Android version over here. It's Android 6.0.1 on the Xperia X and the Android 6.0.1 on the Xperia uh, Z3 Compact. So both of these are running Android 6 Marshmallow. No problems. So let's move on to the uh, application speed test and I'm running out of camera battery. Sorry about that interruption, I ran out of the uh, camera battery so we're back again. Uh, anyway, let's start off with Subway Surfers. Let me see if anything is running in the background. It's not. So first off we have Subway Surfers so let me see if I can get this right in 3, 2, 1. So the Xperia X is definitely faster here. It's already loaded up. Can play the game. And the Xperia Z3 Compact just follows. So let's minimize this and try Temple Run 2 in 3, 2, 1. Again, Xperia X is a little bit faster. And do keep in mind that the screen on the Xperia Z3 Compact is a 720p display, so there is a bit of advantage on the Xperia Z3 Compact. Um, okay, so I guess this was more or less the same. So let's minimize this and move on to Epic Citadel. tap to start and there's no tap to start over here so I'm guessing the Xperia X is again faster so there it was slightly faster on the Xperia X so let me check the uh, settings 100% good set to ultra high quality on both of these phones 
So let's go ahead and run a benchmark in 3, 2, 1. And just by looking at this, I can tell that the uh, frame rate on the Xperia X is much smoother. And yes, again, this is a 720p display, this is a 1080p display, so the uh, GPU of the Xperia X has to work much harder to uh, push out the same image because the pixel dense, pick number of pixels on the Xperia X is much more than the pixels on the Xperia Z3 Compact. So the uh, Compact does have a little bit of advantage over here. This is going to take a while. Right, so the Xperia X has an average frame rate of 57.9, 58 FPS, and the average frame rate on the Xperia Z3 Compact is 54.2. So even with a 720p display, this phone is not able to keep up with the Xperia X, although the difference is very low. Um, so yes, I guess the Xperia X is definitely much faster than the Xperia Z3 Compact. So let's minimize this game. Alright, let's move on. Uh, we're gonna try Instagram now. And you can see uh, the three games are running in the background. No problem. And do note we are connected to the same network over here. So both of these are sharing the uh, same internet connection. Okay, so let's try Instagram in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, more or less the same. Let's try that again. Three, two, one. I'd say that the Xperia X is a little bit faster, but yeah, that thing that is really negligible. So let's leave that running in the background. Let's try music player. Yeah, more or less the same. I guess the Xperia X is microsecond faster, but that really doesn't really matter much. Uh, so you can see all the apps are running in the background. Let's try a bit of multitasking, so uh, let's resume Subway Surfers. Uh, both of these games are running in the background, no problem. Let's resume Temple Run 2, running in the background, no problem. Let's try resuming Epic Citadel. So the Xperia X was much faster in the uh, multitasking here, you can see the game is up and running while the uh, uh, Z3 Compact is loading and now the game is up and running on the Compact. And yeah, that does matter because the uh, Xperia X runs 3GB uh, of RAM, this one's running 2GB of RAM, so multitasking should be better on the Xperia X. So let's launch Clock, again Xperia X. Let's launch track ID. Xperia X was faster over here. Try album. Again, Xperia X is a little bit faster. Okay, that was a bit of fail. Unfortunately, I got a call on my Xperia X, so I had to pause the video. But anyway, nothing has changed. All of the apps are still running in the background. Uh, so let's move on and try the uh, camera app in 3, 2, 1. Yeah, the Xperia X is faster again. Let's try that again. 3, 2, 
3, 2, 1. Yeah, definitely faster on the Xperia X. Let's try AR effect. Okay, so I guess I haven't set it up on the Xperia X before. Anyway, just leave that alone. I need to set that shit up. And I've got no patience to do that. But yeah, generally the uh, camera on the Xperia X is much faster. Uh, let's move on to Adobe Acrobat. Yeah, more or less the same. YouTube. Definitely faster on the Xperia X. Cool. And what else? Let's try Chrome Web Browser. Three, two, one. Yeah, definitely Xperia X is faster. And let's try and go to Steam. Three, two, one. So the Xperia X has already finished loading up. Let's try the uh, desktop version of the Steam website, which is pretty heavy. So it was more or less the same. Let's try GSM Arena. Three, two, one. Both of them are very similar, almost the uh, same loading time. Let's open up this review. I think the uh, Xperia Z3 Compact was a little bit faster over here. Hmm. Let's try go to going to. I haven't set up Facebook on both of these phones. Try phone arena. Xperia X is faster over here. Yeah, definitely the Xperia X is faster. So let's give multitasking again a try. Okay, so before I do multitasking, let me just open up PowerPoint. We haven't done this before, so yeah, Xperia X is a little bit faster. Uh, let's open this presentation. Okay, it's asking me to sign in. Yeah, that got messed up. Thanks, Microsoft. Thank you so much. Hmm, so let's try PowerPoint once again. The so Microsoft screwed it up right there. It's asking me to sign up. Uh, so let's try PowerPoint. Yeah, definitely Xperia X is faster. It's already loaded up the uh, slides while this is still loading. Pretty awesome. Uh, let's try Google Play Store. Yeah, more mostly um, looks the same to me more or less the same. Uh, anyway, let's try a bit of multitasking and go back to the music player. So the Xperia X was faster in multitasking here. Let's try Subway Surface, let's see if it is running. Um, both of these phones are reloading the game from scratch. Xperia X is pulling ahead. 
So we are all ready to go on the Xperia X while the compact is still loading. Let's try Temple Run. So the Xperia X has the game in memory while the Xperia Z3 Compact is loading the game once again. So yeah, when it comes to multitasking, the Xperia X is much better here. See, it's still loading the game from scratch. Um, what else? Let's try camera. You can see the Xperia X was much faster here. It had the uh, camera app loaded up in its memory. Track ID. So the Xperia Z3 Compact was faster here, surprisingly. Let's go back to Instagram. Xperia X was faster over here. So I guess that's it for this video guys, thank you for watching and if you do have any questions do uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer you guys. So thank you guys for watching and do stay tuned for more videos like these. See you later, bye.